FDA now temporarily pausing a ban against the marketing and selling of Julie cigarettes to further investigate the company's products. That ban went into effect last month. One FDA commissioner saying Juul played a disproportionate role in the rise in youth vaping. Now, whether or not that ban sticks, Utah doctors worry about the impacts vaping has on our youth. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner joining us with this story. Kate. Emily, well, according to the Utah Department of Health, teens and young adults use e-cigarettes and vapes at much higher rates than their adult counterparts. And this is what have, has doctors worried. They say the nicotine and the other chemicals in those e-cigarettes and vapes could be more harmful to teens and their developing brains. They come in different shapes, sizes, colors, flavors, and even names. But most people know what they're for, vaping. People feel it's maybe not as dangerous or not as uh, worrisome as the old tobacco smoking. And this has given kind of new life to the use of nicotine. Chief Medical Officer Richard Pomerantz with Ogden Regional Medical Center says the rise of nicotine use is especially high among youth and it's especially dangerous for them too. They have developing brains, teenagers, and there is data that nicotine can affect a lot of things, normally uh, cognition, uh, mood, impulse control. He says along with nicotine, vaping contains other volatile chemicals. And we don't even know really the long-term effects. Vaping hasn't been around that long. We know a lot more about cigarettes because people have been smoking for two, three hundred years already. While little is known about all the long-term health problems caused by vaping. And I would tell young people, this is not something you really want to do because it's going to affect your life forever. And we now, the Utah Department of Health reports that 80% of teens who use tobacco products started with flavored products like those that you can find across many different vape brands. Reporting live in Ogden, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.